Hello and welcome to episode 26 of my playthrough of Paper Mario the Origami King. Um, so in the last episode we had just collected the... Let me see. Well, first of all we just got this new accessory which I'm not going to equip. I think it's better to equip the toad one for now. That's why I didn't change it before. Didn't I don't think I really talked about it but yeah. Anyways, um... Useful items, we got this new diamond jewel, and we found it from using one of the riddles and digging on the ground. Which seems like you can get extra coins from, like, even if you dig in a wrong spot. Looks like you still get something out of it. A lot of time we didn't, but most of the time you do. Anyways, let's head our... And we should find... Here... Uh, wait, we got the diamond one, right? Yes, this is it. Alright, the diamond jewel in place, which I'm pretty sure is technically a square, so I mean, could we not just use it for the square one, but whatever. Oh, it fits perfectly. How cute. Or did, did Olivia say that? You know what? <laughs> yeah, Olivia probably said that. Oh, the stone you put in there is sparkling so brightly. What's happening, other than the pretty light show? Are we moving? Are we a mecha? Oh my gosh, did we just turn into a mecha? Guys, whoa! What is this? I'll be quiet. Guys, I think we just made a Death Star. Ah, what was all that shaking? When? Did, why did we all fall down? What just happened? All right, let's go check it out. I guess we, okay, I'm thinking we're gonna have to collect all of the eyes, right, eyes? Um, but that means we have to solve all the different puzzles. Oh. Look at that lanky guy. Isn't he facing a different direction now? Maybe he just wanted to look at something different. Great. All right, hmm, that's interesting. All right, so I, I'm assuming that means that we um, that we have to check it out? <laughs> Question mark. Oh, no, probably we have to solve all the puzzles for the different towers, which I guess you guys are gonna get to. Uh, are, I'm gonna let you guys watch me do horribly, <laughs> as I did not really prepare for this. Honestly, I just thought like maybe maybe it'll have something special for me, some dialogue to help. We'll see. Well, this looks different. Did something light up? Was this here before? It looks like the light has illuminated part of the design, but what is it? Good point. What is this design? It's some sort of like, it's. I think it's like a part of a signia, like it's gonna create a circle maybe? It's like the first piece, but it looks like there'd be more than just four pieces. Cause that doesn't look like it fills a whole quarter. Huh, really odd. Maybe it makes a, oh, wait, 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 wait. What if it makes one of the volumental symbols? Because it could have the four different things. I'm thinking that's what it is. We're creating a volumental sign. That's like I, I'm I'm calling it bets right now. That's gonna be a volumental sign when we're done with it. So we're gonna need all of the uh, different towers gems. Let's look over our hints again. Would you like to review my notes on the ancient text? Uh, please give us the slabs. To find my eye would be a feat unless you look around my feet. And we did that one. Near walls of waves, a fire's place, an eye is there, by earth encased. Huh, a fire's place. Beneath the feet of twins entwined, in needles there, an eye you'll find. Beneath the feet of twins entwined. Ellipse the sun above the lake. Eclipse the sun above the lake. A buried eye is yours to take. See, I don't know. I don't know what it all means. Olivia, do you want to help? That ancient message about walls of waves is so strange. Could it be the wall with waves drawn on it?
Ah, okay, hopefully my audio wasn't cut out for too long there, guys. I gotta be more careful watching for that when that... Anyways. Um, okay. Just continuing inside. I'm just trying to make sure everything's intact and it looks like we're fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try not to, like, allow that to happen too often. I'll be careful about it. Anyways, I need to... Doing. So we need to go find a wall of waves. That is... Where is a wall of waves? <laughs> I forget what the inside of this has. This is probably pretty important. No, I think this is how we found what we needed to find before, isn't it? Uh, fire is burning in inside my chest. It is a flame. I call your name. In retrospect, the ancient texts were quite clear and informative. Oh, I want to do the song and dance again. Alright. <laughs> okay, so I don't think there's anything else to do here. I don't think this has to do with what we're doing, because this is how we got the uh, temple open, I remember now. Um, I guess that means we gotta go downstairs and into the left room? Wait, okay, I'm, I'm trying to remember. I think I'll start by going to the right room, because this is the one I remember the least about. In fact, I'm not sure if I even explored it on camera, because there's lots of, like, glitchiness and I had to deal with it. Okay, this one's just a pyramid. Shroom City Chronicle, Chapter 4, The Eternal King Shroomies. He rests in temple in the Temple of Shrooms. Interesting. Hey, who are you? What's up, neighbor? It's been awfully quiet lately. You figured that whole ancient uh, figure out that whole ancient one thing? Uh not quite. Alright, let's see. So this is number four. That means the room that we were originally in is number three. So we're going to be roommates, huh? Hey. Well, I'm a bit of a loud stu studier. I hope you don't mind. It's alright. What's this all about? Shroom City Chronicle Chapter 3. Shroomy's, uh, Shroomy D Shroomy's Destiny Dynasty's Golden Age. Can't read. <laughs> Sharing the wealth. Ruling rules. Alright, interesting. And this is our archaeology log, we already read that. We already found out about getting to the sun altar. Those are my notes. I must ask that you wait you wait to read them along with everyone else. They're when they're published in an academic journal. Sure. Alright, guy. Alright. <laughs> okay. We need to go this this really like uh confuses me, confounds me. Um We still haven't found how to get into this room. And it feels like we have to get in there for some reason. This place has been skating by the strength of ancient murals for so long. Such a long time, if you ask me. Alright, alright. I guess the pool is pretty nice, too. I, I don't think I read that right at all. But, you know what? I don't care. <laughs> There's gotta be, like, a way to get through this wall or something. Are we from the other side? Because it feels really weird to just have this one locked room right here. It has nothing to do with anything else here. Huh. Ellipse the sun above the lake. Oh, there's a lake in the desert town. Could it be there? Oh, there is a lake in here. You're right. I'm not very smart, am I? <laughs> Great. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> down. Okay, this. I don't think this counts as a lake, but there is like a main lake. I, I forgot. I completely blanked on me. I forgot about the existence of it. Also, did you see Toad there? He had a very like big like jiggle. <laughs> the best way for me to describe it. <laughs> Bounce back and forth super fast. Anyways. Yeah, there's this giant lake to the left, if you guys remember from a few episodes ago. Because of course I don't. <laughs> um, yeah, right here with this guy that I can't, for some reason, seem to please, because he really wants to jump pretty high. Weak. I want to be launched. Do it harder. I'm not sure how to please him. <laughs> Anyways. Um, there's this lake here. Do you have anything to tell us about it? Ah, the water is pretty at night, which is a uh, so pretty at night, which is 100% of the time now that the sun is gone. That's true. Uh, ellipse the sun. Oh, I got it first try. I'm like, I'm gonna have to walk around all around this thing to figure it out. Nope. <laughs> Luck is on my side. Alright, a round drill found by the lake shore now has little, like, eye marks on it. That's nice. 
Uh, do you have any other hints for this video? We, I'm kind of in need. Do you think we should explore those linky towers a bit more? Okay, so we have to fill in the tower before she'll, uh, she'll let us have more hints. <laughs> Alright, I forget which one has the eye, but I'm just assuming it's the one to the right. Which I think you go to here to get to, or it might be the other area, I'm not sure. I think it's this one, if I'm remembering correctly. I mean, I could check the map. Okay, got it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the one with the dot in it, like the circular pattern. Or is that the pattern inside, like how the symbol on it? Does that mean this is the square tower? Yes, it does. Alright. In that case, I will have for the one that has... If you guys don't see what I mean, it's like right above my head right now, as I work out. Right above my head now. Uh, like up here, you can see it. There's a square above that triangle. Which I think represents the eye of the current thing that you're next to. Anyways. Wait, can we just run these guys over? No. They'll hide. But it's not like it matters much anymore, because there, there's no more toads to collect. Anyways. I mean, who knows? Maybe they give you more coins than a regular enemy. Um, is there... Okay, I'm gonna actually check. Check the map. Uh, yeah, there is a toad tower to this way. To this way? This way. Alright, let's go this way then. If we, need, if we can get ourselves to a little toad tower here, that'd be nice. Um, and while we're at it, we might as well dig up some coins. And possibly other things. Nope, just coins. But the coins are helpful. Especially when you're broke like my like my wallet right now in this game. I mean, to be fair, in both. <laughs> you know what? Okay. I'm just gonna jump into this tower. It's a circle, so we got lucky. If you guys see above the triangles. <laughs> Anyways, let's go fit in this piece. Select an item. Oh, the glass goes on the inside. I thought the glass would go on the outside, so it's like a little eye. Like an anime eye. <laughs> I'll let you guys watch. Hee <laughs> hee, I know that wasn't gonna happen, uh, I knew what was gonna happen this time, so I didn't fall down. <laughs> Good job, guys. Um, that being said, it is interesting to note that all eyes have been green so far, so I think we might be making the turtle, uh, or the water elemental symbol, if you guys remember what that looks like. Oh, this one changed direction too. Yep, looks like they're all pointing in. My current prediction is that we're working towards making a water elemental symbol. That's what my bet's placed on. I don't know about you guys. Alright. Alright, I think this is where YouTubers are supposed to say, like, comment below. Anyways. Um. <laughs> that ancient message about walls of waves is so strange. Could it be the a wall with waves drawn on it? I'm trying to think of where a wall with waves drawn it on it makes sense. You guys are probably screaming at me about that one, but I cannot think of it for the life of me. Um... I don't know. Okay, a wall with waves on it. Do you think we should explore those lanky towers a bit more? So yeah, there's nothing else in the city it seems like. Otherwise, she'd probably say something. A wall with waves on it. Do you guys have anything, any clue of what that could mean? I'm assuming it's all in the desert. Because the one that I thought would be outwards was actually in the desert. <laughs> so, I'm thinking it's probably all going to be in the desert. Could it be... A wall with waves drawn on it? I don't... I can't think of where that would be. We have only two more eyes to find. One of them is based off of the walls with waves on it, and the other is between the twin, like, something. Twin towers or something like that. A twin something. <laughs> Anyways, um, so we gotta look for, like, two things that are right next to each other, I guess. Do I dare to, uh, to meet a real ancient one? Maybe there's something out here we're missing, because I, I, remember we, I remember we didn't really give this much of a time. Uh, 
much time to explore, should I say, previously. So maybe there's a bit more for me to find than I first thought. Hope oh, we can just ram into them to open them up. I kind of like being a snake, especially around here. Sand, snakes, and ruined temples? Classic! Great. Alright. Um... Oh, I missed it. Alright. Oh, there's something to dig up here, which I don't think we had the ability before when we saw this. That little snake toad. Oh, I was assuming there'd be more, but that works too. Sorry for hiding like that. I'm just a bit shy. Also, your butt's look really scary to a snake. Great. I appreciate it. I think. <laughs> um, dang it! I thought I could. I thought I could get around it. All right. Let's just get go. Oh wait, wait, wait. Do you see that? The only time that I'm not blind, guys. I don't know if you guys are blind right now, but I see the little thing. I might as well select this guy. I see him. <laughs> you guys see it right now? Oh, I, I, it's you. I thought you were a snake catcher. Are you a, are snake catchers a thing? Probably. Uh, these are mountains up here, and on this one, there's waves. Hearing was cut short because of the audio messing up. <laughs> I was trying to say, I actually puzzled good in this neighborhood, my friends. <laughs> Anyways, okay. Enough uh, celebrating for me. <laughs> we got the square drill. Because look, there's these water symbols above here. I don't know if you guys saw it or how much my audio cut out for. There's mountains on this one and then waves on the other. I finally figured it out. Oh, this actually just works. Oh, I thought I hit it. Dang it, I thought I had him. Oh, we got a paper ma paper macho boo. Nice. Got him. Oh, and he teleported away. And he's shy. Okay, so they're two hitter. That makes it a lot easier. I thought you'd have to hit them just as much as any other one, and I'm like, ah, oh, that's gonna be rough to try to do, but it looks a lot better if you don't have to do the whole process of it. Anyways, there's another pit here. I wonder if this has anything special in it, too. Just a lot of coins. That was a lot of coins there. Man. Looks like they can also fly over walls. That's interesting. Anyway, I don't think we have anything else to hear, here to look at here. Uh, let's look back at that last hint. Oops. I did not mean to do that. Um, ancient slabs. I think we, I think we had one more, didn't we? They went away. Or is that the only two we've had? It's probably the only two, and I'm remembering wrong. To find an eye would be okay. I know that one. Uh, I know that one. Beneath the feet of twins entwined, in needles there, and the eye you'll find. Twins entwined. Twins. Where have we seen twins before? All of the toads ever. I mean, what? <laughs> um, ha. Huh. Well, I mean, it, while we're at it, if we see the tower, we might as well put it in. I forgot, we got the square signia, right? Oh, I know where the square signia is. We're up there. Let's look down here again. I have a feeling it might be down here, or it might also be up and to the left. Uh, we'll have to see in a second. Twins entwined. Entwined. And it has to be in the desert, because that's where we found everything else, so I'm just kind of assuming that one, but I think it's a good assumption to make. Um, twins entwined. The rope is kind of entwined, but it's not quite the entwined we need. Twins entwined. Also, it's an ancient text, so I don't know why it would be there if it was something about 
a previous thing that's already been there. Oh, sorry, Toad. <laughs> Thank you. And don't worry, I'm not poisonous. I'm venomous. <laughs> Great. That's much better. Ooh, fire flower. I'll take that. Shiny fire flower, actually. Extra damage. I've actually not been using many of those. I should probably use more. Don't kill me. Thank you. <laughs> and some flashy boots. Cool. Um, can we run over booze? Please tell me I can. Thank you. <laughs> I'm like, I don't want to get in a battle right now. I'm trying to explore and puzzle. Alright. That was a lot of coins. Um. Alright, so here's the point where I actually have to start thinking. What could represent twins entwined? I think we can actually break through this wall. Now that I look at it from a different angle. Huzzah! Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> It looks like there's something behind this wall, if we get back in the car in a second. One second. See, you can kind of see past this wall, I wonder what that's all about. Huh, that's odd. Okay. Get that guy out of here. Wait, just one minute. Can we go out to the right here? <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, that's so cool! I wonder if this actually helps us at all. <laughs> I mean, hopefully. It is cool either way, even if it's not part of the main story here. I like how the booze just stay at their uh, a a access level. Oh, whoa, whoa, what's this? What's this? What's this? I think I got attacked. Okay. Um, this looks pretty simple. Just one over there, and one over there. Forgot the booze kind of disappear in between. Oh yeah, we can. this is a perfect opportunity to uh, test our new gold stuff. Puzza. Oh, that does a lot of damage. That is well worth it. I didn't think it would do that much damage for, like, a money thing. I thought it would just be, like, base damage. That is a ton of damage. These are really worth it. I wonder if you can even buy these. Probably not. They're probably just, like, one-time use- or one-time, like, you get them every once in a while from the story, and then you can't ever buy them again. That's my guess, at least. Let's we'll see. Toad, get out of there. Toad, get out. I said. Toad! <laughs> Thank you. I was starting to think I'd rather just been folded out. That is very fair. Alright, let's fill in this thing. Oh, it's another coffee shop. Last time we found these, it was quite helpful. I'll just wait here. Alright. Cool. Big guy. I forget what they're called. Um... They're not hammer bros, but they're sledge bros. <laughs> dot dot dot. Alright, tiny goomba. Sledge bro, what's up? What you want? I'll have a mega, mega tasty coffee, please. Hey barista, hit me with another. Um, is this gonna be big enough? Or is this gonna be enough? <laughs> There's so many of them. Oh my gosh. Hey, hey, don't hog it all, you teeny weenies. Leave some for me. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. <laughs> and we get a full heal. Beautiful. I love that juxtaposition. Hi, guys. Hey, Barista, got any bigger cups back there? <laughs> it's beautiful. Alright, I don't, I don't think that's for the story, but I, I love it just as much as it was. As if it was. <laughs> I appreciate that room. Alright, I, d I don't think this is actually story-based. <laughs> I think that was just for fun. Check down here just in case. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything. Alright, back to actually exploring for what we need to do. Um, twins and twine. Let's see if she has any hints. Twins and twine and needles. Could it be one of those spiky green things? Oh. Twins entwined needles. So like those permanent green cacti, maybe like the like lower ones, the cacti bushes. Huh. Professor, how is it inside of the cactus? 
I don't know where we'd find a cactus thing like that that we need, though. Huh, very odd. I'm trying to think here. I can't quite put my tongue on where it would be. I don't think that's the right phrase, but you know what? I'm gonna go with it. Hmm. Alright. I think we know- I think what I'm gonna do for now... This might actually- no, because there's a question mark in between. I doubt they'd hide something in the middle. I'm gonna try anyways. Do you have anything? No, nothing. We gotta find another formation like that, but I think for now I'm just gonna throw in this piece here. Twins and twine. There's a small cactus here. Are you a toad? Yeah, something told me. How could you tell us me? I gotta work on my cactus impression. Twins entwined! Wait, wait, wait. In between twins entwined. Yeah! We did it. Puzzling good. Triangle jewel. Yes, so now we got all the jewels. Cool. Alright, let's equip this jewel in here. Oh, if I don't pop back in the thing right away. <laughs> Put this in, and then I think I'll have to end the off episode off there as much as I want to explore more. And in the next episode, whew, it'll be exciting. I'm happy we got everything done in this episode, though. Professor, how did you... Professor, are you okay? Oh, oh, yes. Sorry about that. I suppose I'm not swashb uh, as swashbucking buckling as m some of my colleagues. <laughs> Very nice. Alright. And that's exactly where I'm going to leave it for next episode. Next, uh, At the beginning of the next episode, we'll start in the tower and we'll light up this final piece and see what happens, guys. I'm still predicting it's going to be one of the signia of the uh, water elemental. I'm predicting. That's my prediction. I don't know about you guys. If you have anything else <laughs> that you might think it might be, then comment below. But I, that's, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like if you did. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. See you around. Bye-bye.